When you think of London's bird community, you probably have pictures like these in mind. But there's something striking green thriving above the bustling streets. Rose-ringed parakeets. These charming birds are native to South Asia and Africa. But since the 1960s, they have also made their home in the UK's capital city. They have adapted remarkably well to the colder urban surroundings, living side by side with their fellow birds, pigeons and songbirds. Today, you can find more than 50,000 individuals across the UK, with most of them living in London. How did they get here? This question has been answered with several interesting rumors. But guess what? They are simply not true. So, how can we finally put an end to this almost 100-year-old riddle of the parakeets? What role does crime investigation play in solving it? And how did the exotic birds manage to survive in their new chilly home anyway? That's what we're going to find out. For decades, it was a mystery as to how the birds had taken over London's streets and parks. Various myths circulated with famous names involved. One of the first popular theories was that the birds had escaped from the film set of The African Queen, which was filmed in London in 1951. But no one ever confirmed this. You liar! The next rumor was that Jimi Hendrix had released a pair of parakeets on Carnaby Street, right in the center of the capital. The birds were dubbed Adam and Eve, which is a nice reference, but still, the Hendrix story was never confirmed either. After some time, another, less celebrity-sprinkled theory surfaced. Pet owners were said to have set their parakeets free from their cages intentionally, because the birds simply talked too much. But was that true? Nobody knew. It needed a team of UK-based scientists to finally uncover the hidden truth of London's parakeets. And crime investigation technology which could be considered quite obvious in the land of MI6. To find the starting point of the parrot invasion, the research team used geographic profiling, an established statistical technique originally developed in criminology to prioritize large lists of suspects in cases of serial crime. In this case, the technique was used to analyze spatial patterns of parakeet sightings. More than 5,000 unique records in newspapers and archives dating from 1968 to 2018 were analyzed. The outcome was a map that showed where and when parakeets have been seen in the UK. Well, none of the suspect sites connected to those origin myths showed up prominently during the geoprofiling process. Instead, the answer to the avian riddle was buried deep within the old newspapers. Between 1929 and 1930, a deadly outbreak of parrot fever had London firmly in its grip. The infectious disease affected both parrots and humans. About a hundred suspected cases were recorded in the UK. The fear among pet owners of getting the disease from their birds was enormous. And back then, Londoners kept more parakeets as pets than cats and dogs. The scientists found news articles about tragic family stories and hysterical pet owners who were completely overwhelmed by the situation. Or the one about London Zoo, which announced that it couldn't take any more parrots. The consequence was that dozens of pet parrots were set free into the parks and streets of London. Many of them survived their release into the urban wilderness. The stage was set for the invasion of rose-ringed parakeets. In 1968, at least 500 birds were sighted in London, and later, in 1987, the numbers increased again. The reason for this second boost to the invasion was, even more birds had escaped from aviaries damaged in the 1987 storm. So, the most plausible story of London's parakeet's origins is that they were released from pet owners, on purpose or accidentally. Since then, they have thrived, thanks to their intelligence and adaptability, and because people have been happy to let them. Social media is full of photos and videos of parakeets flying overhead, perching on trees and interacting with each other or with people. They seem to be warmly welcomed by the Britons. That and milder winters caused by climate change may encourage the flying invaders to spread even more widely across the United Kingdom in future. Want to see more fascinating birds? 
then check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.